the evolution of uh, treatment of uh, advanced heart failure has dramatically changed over the last 10 years. Uh, still, I believe the transplantation is a gold standard for uh, very advanced or end-stage heart failure patient, especially the uh, young patients. But uh, evol uh, evolving the other heart replacement therapy, such as uh, left ventricular assisted device, uh, has been uh, uh, drastic and then uh, changing, or I would say that currently we are facing the paradigm shift of the treatment of uh, end-stage heart failure. We doubled, mostly doubled the, uh, like our uh, number at New York Presbyterian Hospital to put a left ventricular assist device to treat the end-stage heart failure for the last two years. And then uh, all over the country, as well as all over the world, the number of the implantation of the left ventricular assist device are growing rapidly. I will, will show the, how we put in a total artificial heart. And actually, this is the, the real total artificial heart. Uh, by the, I, I, it is given by the courtesy of the company. Uh, so this is the pump. We have uh, two pumps for right and left heart. And then uh, this is the, the two anastomosis. Uh, this is for the uh, uh, ventricular level or the atrial level. And uh, this is for the uh, great arteries, the aorta, and the, the main pulmonary artery. So, these, this one is sewn onto the left atrium or left ventricle at the level of the uh, mitral valve or right atrium or right ventricle at the level of the tricuspid valve. And then this side is sewn to the great artery, the aorta, or the pulmonary artery. The benefit of the total artificial heart we recently started to use uh, is potentially we can uh, discharge our total artificial heart recipients. So that is a huge benefit. Uh, the previous, uh, previously, the total artificial heart recipient have had to stay in the hospital until they get a transplant. Now we have an opportunity to send out those recipients and they can wait at home. The ideal candidates for the total artificial hearts are the following. The patient uh, who had a, a transplant, now failing heart, and also those patients are listed for retransplantation, and they cannot wait anymore the retransplantation because the transplanted heart uh, is failed almost uh, at the end stage. Thus, that we have to uh, bridge those patients with a mechanical support device. I believe the following things make New York Presbyterian Hospital unique. The first of all, with regard to the uh, uh, treatment of the heart failure. 
Our transplant program has a long history, which started you know, more than 30 years ago. And uh, we have done more than 2,000 heart transplants over the course. And I believe still, uh, I believe uh, our program is one of the largest program all over the world. Uh, we have almost all modalities to treat any type of heart disease available to our patient, from just a simple bypass surgery to the most complicated heart failure or end catheter treatment. In terms of heart failure treatment, we have a variety of the pharmacological, cells, uh, uh, pharmacological therapies, cell transplant therapies, gene therapies, as well as mechanical circulatory support, which covers a variety of devices, such as total artificial heart or the uh, left ventricular assist device being tested in, in this country.